Hello and welcome to my floss tube video. My name is Lizzie and this is a video all about my cross stitch. Today is the 10th of September and this is my sixth cross stitch video, my sixth floss tube. Um, I say it like that because last time I said it was my fourth but it was my fifth and it was all a bit confusing. So today is Thursday the 10th of September. Can you believe it's September already? Um, the year has flown by, even though at times it's felt like it's dragging. Um, I cannot believe... One moment, please. Yeah, I was saying I cannot believe how um, time has flown by so much. Um, I'm back at work properly now, um, and the girls are back at school. That has happened in the last couple of weeks. And I haven't posted a video for a while because... I've been poorly. You can probably hear it in my voice a little bit still. Um, I haven't had COVID. I've had a really bad cold. I did have a COVID test because it started as a cough and I just needed to get that checked out. But I'm okay now. We're back on track. There's the dog's nose showing his little nose up there. Um, all is well. Um, I didn't get masses of stitching done because I was too poorly. Um, but it has been a long time, so I've probably got masses done compared to what you saw last time. So in this video, we'll talk you through some finishes, some works in progresses and some new starts. Hasn't been a lot of haul uh, shopping for cross stitch supplies because I think I pretty much have everything I need. <clears throat> so thank you for popping on and watching. Um, I hope you like the video. Um, I'm a bit of a, I don't have a set plan really, I'll probably just flip between. There are a lot more sleek um, floss tube videos out there. Um, I'm still in the early stages with this being number six. So I thought I should start by showing you fully, fully finished objects. Um, the first one I've got to show you unfortunately is just in picture form. I, it was the Handmaid's Tale that I showed you and I'd started last video. I loved stitching it and I, I quite enjoyed finishing it too. So this is a picture of the front. And um, I'll put the pattern details below where I got it from. I think it's called Shell Stitch or something like that, but I will check it out and put the details below. It was a pattern I bought from Etsy. Um, great pattern stitch, I put it on Pattern Keeper and it was a really quick stitch quick for me, it probably took me a couple of weeks. Um, I love Pattern Keeper, it's really, really revolutionised my stitching and that was the first project I tried it with. My month subscription is up now so I've had to pay for it but I don't mind paying for it because I use it so much. Um, and yeah, so that was the front and this is the back. So as you can see on the back I put the quote from the book which um, generally means don't let the nasty people grind you down. Um, I don't think there's a direct quote. It's it's Latin, but it's not. There's no direct translation, and I'm not sure if it's even 100% Latin, as it like a truthful Latin. Um, but I put that on the back, so just just a little message to remind my girlie. Um, you know, when, when times tough, don't let them get you down. And I finished it in a hoop. I just wound some red fabric around the edge of the hoop. And then, um, so I did a drawstring round the actual stitching and had, and then glued, or no, I used double-sided tape, double-sided tape the edges in on the actual inside of the hoop. And um, then I did a drawstring round the red stitch, the stitching on the back on the red fabric and drew, uh, drew draw, I, I gathered it up round, um, a cardboard disc and then I stitched it to the edge of the the binding on the hoop and added a ribbon or a little um this is the other dog now I didn't say there he is um he's in a jumper because it's cold um so I stitched that on to the hoop and yeah and she really liked it so it was a nice gift as it was her favorite book and I gave her a copy of the book, a hardback copy of The Handmaid's Tale um, and, and uh, The Handmaid's Tale card. So she had a very themed birthday present for me this year, which was nice. 
Um, and so I have another fully finished object that I can show you. Um, this is my Christmas stitch along from Cross Stitcher magazine, October, November, December last year, so 2019, um, designed by Susan Penny. And here it is. Oops. Flip flop that over. Now, can you see that the stitching I've mounted onto one piece of card and then I've mounted some gold fabric onto another piece of card and then another layer with this gold, it's like a hessian, um, gold, red and green, festive. And then with this beautiful velvet ribbon that's just a bit too touchy-feely, sort of strokey. Um, and then on the back, tidy myself up, I've, uh, you won't be able to see it, it's probably back to front for you, isn't it? Um, covered it up with a piece of cardboard and it says my mini Christmas sampler started 1st of July 2020, completed 31st of August 2020. And there we go, 2020. That's um, one, boys, one metallic thread and um, one red thread in the 2020 there. But the rest are pretty much as called for on the pattern. I really like that. I'm looking forward to hanging that. It's my first Christmas cross stitch I think I've ever done so really pleased with that one and those are my two finished fully finished objects um, I do have a finished object to show you and I believe it's under one of the dogs now excuse me excuse me and they're not going to be happy with me where have I put it excuse me one moment I'll have to go look for it so on previous videos I've been talking about this project for a, a long time. I've been stitching it since January, I believe. Sorry, the dog's just had a shake. Um, been stitching it since January and I was wondering, because it was a stitch along, whether I was going to catch up. And I'm pleased to say I did. So it's the Bloom and Grow Stitch Along by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, and I've finished it. It's not fully finished because we've got to find the frame the right size. There we go, that's accurate in colours. I've changed a few colours, a few of the pots changed colour. Um, this month, this was the last month, this was August's pot, and where it's green in the pot, it should have been purple. But having literally just done this one the day before, or the day before, the day before, I was a bit purpled out, so I thought I'll go for a green. It looks a bit 70s retro, doesn't it? Um, it's looking a bit washed out. There we go, that's better. Do you reckon this will be my capture shot? Um, if I stand still long enough it might be... Oh, oh. There we go, we're in quite a playful mood. So, this was a joy to stitch. I, I got a bit cross for playing catch-up. I didn't enjoy playing catch-up on it at all. Um, but that's my fault rather than the pattern's fault. I enjoyed stitching the pattern. Pattern's incredibly easy to follow. Um, it was emailed as a PDF each month, and which is great because then you can use it on a tablet or your phone and just in, enlarge and decrease by swiping um, as needed so you can see whichever bit of it you want to. Now I found that really useful. I didn't pop it into Pattern Keeper because with the number of colours in the chart, you just did, it was so bright and bold, you didn't need, I personally, didn't need to have Pattern Keeper show me what colours were where, I could work it out. So I've stitched this on 18 count um, white Zweigart Ada, two over two. I've made a few personalisations, mistakes, um, but I just love it. And it was funny, I was just round at my mum's just now and she's got quite a few of these flowers growing in pots in her garden at the moment. Um, but instead of pots, she uses orange buckets and or blue plastic buckets. So I think I might one day stitch it again as a bit of a joke and um, do all the pots bright orange or bright blue. It's a bit of a long stitch for a joke. I don't know. We'll see. Anyhow, I love it. I love it. I've finished it. Um, and I'm looking forward to the next stitch along, which is called Hello Dear. And that is out <clears throat> The end of this month I believe I think it might be the 28th but I've never been good at remembering dates once it started I'll remember the date of the next one so what 
what shall I show you next? Shall I show you some whips, works in progresses, or some new starts? I've had two new starts that I can think of. I went a bit new start crazy after finishing Bloom and Grow. I'll show you World Cross Stitch Day. I was going to make a video on World Cross Stitch Day, but um, I, got, I got the day wrong. I thought it was the Thursday, but it was the was that the tenth? Was World Cross Stitch Day the tenth or the eleventh of August? Um, let me just have a look at my screen. I'll be able to work it out because I went to see a friend. So World Cross Stitch Day must have been the fourteenth. Or was it the 7th? 14th of August, World Cross Stitch Day was. And I started this on the 13th because I thought World Cross Stitch Day was a Thursday. And I was going <laughs> to, here's a story, I was going to stay up and watch Pam and Steph's live. Pam and Steph from Just St Keep Stitching. Um, I was going to stay up and watch their live on Instagram. Unfortunately, I commented on one of their posts on Instagram saying I was looking forward to seeing them later. Um, and then he replied, ah, it's tomorrow, um, which was great because it meant I didn't stay up all night because they're um, so far behind in time, five, six hours maybe. Um, I would have been literally staying up to one o'clock in the morning for nothing. Then Friday came and I'd been out to see a friend and we had a bit of stitch chat, and which was lovely. Thank you, Fiona. Loved my afternoon. We'll have to arrange it again sometime. And by the time I got back and done children and family stuff and house and dogs and everything I was pooped so I tried to stay awake um but stupidly went to bed trying to stay awake I was reading and I slept I slept straight through it but I watched it the next day it was lovely thank you Pam and Steph if you haven't watched Pam and Steph's YouTube um floss tube videos you really must they are hysterical they record every Sunday evening so it hits the UK Monday morning and my Monday mornings are just a joy now it's like I've got to get up I've got to have coffee get, get up get ready and then I can sit and watch Pam and Steph and then I can start work or if I'm working from home and I've got a simple job to do first thing Monday morning I can watch Pam and Steph and make my job a joy to do because I'm watching them at the same time sorry the dogs are fighting one moment one moment right where were we um hopefully this is fifth time lucky I've said I think they're done now and then they weren't, they carried on fighting, and then they carried on fighting, and then the doorbell's just gone and somebody's tried to sell me new windows. Which, yes, I need, but I can't afford, and don't want now, but they're also, obviously they're salespeople, they're very pushy. <sighs> Where was I? Well, Cross Stitch Day. On the Friday. But I started this on Thursday, the 13th. And it is, of course, Pandemic by Long Dog Samplers and this is how far I've got since the 13th of August. Um, I've done all the way across the top because I had to check it was going to fit on widthways. That's 365 stitches. This is 25 count Lugana. It's just a creamy colour. It doesn't say on the packet um, which is actually handily just here. Um, Zweigart Lugana. There we go. Pre-cut. Premium quality, made in Germany, and that's the size. It comes with a free pattern. Um, and it's just got that on the back. I don't know if that's back to front for you, actually. Whoops. It, do, it doesn't say a colour. It just says a code. Oh, does it? No. Anyhow, 25 count Lugana. I've done the edges on my serger. That's all I use it for these days is edging um, cross stitch fabric. I used to make clothes. No time for that anymore. I stitch too much. My husband wants a shirt making. So like, sorry, love. The cross stitch is much more fun. So I've done my 365 stitches all the way across the top and back again. So that's two rows. I'm stitching it one over one. This might be my my picture. Take this one for Facebook, take this one. Stitching it one over one and I've very nearly finished page one. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I love stitching one over one. I love how tiny it is, but it's still going to be massive. I don't love the mistake I've made just here. Can you see? 
that X, if I put it in front of my face, it might focus a bit better. That X, that little cross is not lined up with that one. But I didn't go back and take it out because I figured that once it's that big, you're not going to see it, are you, at a distance? Um, I'm going to hang it on the wall just here in the living room. I'm in the living room today because of the dogs. If I go upstairs, they'll definitely bark. So yeah, this is possibly my most favourite thing in the world at the moment. And now it's the right way around. <laughs> um, yeah, I love it. And one over one is so relaxing. Weirdly, weirdly relaxing because you'd think it'd be harder. Um, you don't have to count, do you? You don't have to make sure you've got a hole or two, two threads or whatever. So yeah, one over one. I'm doing it in DMC 3809, which is a gorgeous colour. Is that true to it? Hmm. Um, and it lives in this project bag, I, bag I made for it, which is a Liberty fabric which matches the colour quite nicely too. So that's, well, when I say it lives in it, it just barely gets put away. Only when I'm at work. So that, um, I'd like to finish it by the end of the year. But as it's taken me a month to do that much, although realistically, it's taken me, I've only really picked it up again. So I did the first two rows here, and then I've done all of this in the last two weeks. So that's page one of 20, maybe, maybe not, who knows. Okay, so those are my new, oh no, I've got another new start. That's one new start. Here's another one. Oh, sorry, crinkle, crinkle while I get this untangled. There we go. So this is <coughs> a Caterpillar cross stitch kit that I bought at um, the social event, the So Social or so Stitching Social. I can't remember what she called it, but Sally did some social events in Kenilworth last year and she was going to have them this year in April. Um, but now she's moving them to online events because we can't meet in person. The gallery, I believe, where, she's hold, where she held them was closed, unfortunately. Um, it was such a shame. And the social events are going to have to be online because of blessed COVID. Um, but she did have a YouTube live um, the other Friday. And while that was on, I started this, which is... I'm not showing the right colours at all. There we go. There. It's Hello Pumpkin. So this is going to be a tree. I haven't got a picture to show you because the front, I think so, the front of the, maybe you could be in the picture and then Facebook could have us, three of us, hey? Um, the front of the pattern is all misted out because it was a stitch along. Um, but the whole pattern is in the kit and I bought it as a kit, like I said, her, her so social or stitch social, so she's stitching, can't remember. Um, so I've started, this is a toadstool or will be a toadstool and there's a leaf and, and some little tiny drop leaves. Um, started that last Friday, felt so weird though, this is 16 count white ada um, that came in the kit and it feels really weird to be stitching something so big having literally been doing just over a millimeter size stitches um, but I will work on that again probably this afternoon maybe this evening because um, I'd like to get that done before hello dear starts which is starting as I said at the end of the month which is also a tree so the plan is that Sally's going to release four trees so that's awesome hello pumpkins awesome hello dear is winter and then she will be releasing a spring and a summer and that'd be lovely i don't know whether i'll have all four in a sort of maybe i put them here one two three four or whether i'd have one that i'd swap out each season i think my husband would prefer that because then it's only one hook that needs to go in the wall because he's done so great at putting hooks in walls when i need him to he's bought me some sticky fixes have you have you heard of them the command hooks where they they're like a sticky adhesive and velcro and you put one side on your frame one on your wall and then you velcro them together 
and they just peel off and they don't um, damage the paintwork at all. And they're great. I've got lots of those upstairs. On my wall that's on my other videos, they're all up with sticky fixes because then I can just put things up myself. Um, and then it can make them straight later on because <laughs> I'm not so good at straightening things by eye. What else? So those are my two starts. Um, pandemic and... Hello pumpkin. Sorry, my mind just went blank. Easily done, isn't it? Um, so then I've got a couple of works in progress. I think, <clears throat> apart from the Bossy Threads Mookel that I haven't worked on at all recently, um, I think the only two works in progress I've got are Spangled, um, again by Long Dog Samplers, and the train picture that I'm working on for my dad. So, um, I think those are the only two I've got going. I haven't started, I talked about the Strawberry Thief last time I was on here. I haven't started that yet um, because I lost the Ada I ordered for it. I found it since, so I might start that. I think I need to finish something. I think having five works in progress might stress me out. I don't know. I see some people have all the, all the works in progress. And Floss Tube is great because it's shown me that I'm allowed to do that. I can have as many as many works in progress as I like, which is wonderful because before I thought I had to have it stitch something till it's finished and only that thing and and it had to have a purpose as well. Whereas then I watched a Floss Tube, I don't know whose it was, somebody said they had a, a finished drawer where all their finished things went. And I was like, so I can just stitch something for the sake of stitching it and not even show it? Because I sometimes see patterns I think, oh, I really like that, but wouldn't go with any decor, mine or friends or anything. But then maybe I could just stitch it for stitching's sake and just put it in a drawer. I quite like that idea. I really do. Because it's the process that I enjoy, the stitching process. The, the, the beautiful outcome is, is a beautiful, bright byproduct. Um, and having things to hang on the walls is... And decorate. Sorry, the dog's going mad over there. The other one. Um, it is wonderful, but it's the <coughs> excuse me. It's the process is, is why I stitch. So, having had a cough, I will now apologize. I will now apologise in case the other dog's making some weird sounds, and you think, Ooh, "What is that?" It's the dog. Um, oh, and this is the little hoop I'm doing. <laughs> that would be funny. Is that my Put my picture on Facebook, uh, YouTube. This is the little hoop I'm using for Pandemic. I thought I'd need to put it on a frame to enjoy stitching it. Oh, sorry. Um, somebody wants to cuddle. Um, but no, I'm just doing it on this little, I don't think it's, I think it's a five inch frame. I don't think it's even six inches. Um, and for some reason I'm getting on really well with it. I'm surprised. I am very surprised. Okay, sorry, works in progresses. Probably get around there and find his chewed piece of furniture. Or oh, I think he might have biscuits stuck inside his mouth. That's the sound he often makes. I'm not ignoring him really. So this is where I was with the train stitching. And this is, um, I think it's literally just called a train by um, our love sky stitching and photos. Don't stand on it, I need, I need to show people it, don't I? I'm just looking for the little book I've been using as a, um, my sewing machine manual book, as a sort of back so things don't look see-through. And here it is now. It's got to the point now, of course, where it's so, so nearly finished that I don't want to work on it anymore because it's not finished and it's annoying me. I got to that point with the watercolour alphabet, didn't I? Um, where it was just like, oh, I want to get it done. Um, I really enjoyed stitching it. This purple zigzaggy bit I did the other evening and it, I don't know why it was irritating me. Excuse me, Gibbs. Shh. That's the grey dog. He likes to have a good burrow and a good grumble. He's like an old man. Here he is. This is what I have to put up with. Total crazy. What was I going to say? Weirdo dog. 
Closest for my dad. I had a chat with my mum about how I was going to finish it, whether I should turn it into a cushion or send it to him with a picture. I think we're going to go for the picture route. Now this is on, it came as a kit from Isle of Sky Stitching and Photos. Um, it, um, yeah, it came as a kit. It's got 32, 34 thread colours and it's all anchor threads, I believe. I haven't had a problem with it. I, I always stitch with DMC because that's what I can get really easily. Um, it's on 14 count Ada, which I believe is white. It's not Svigart though because that's the edge and there's no orange stripe there. Um, and yeah, I've enjoyed stitching it. I just want it done now so I can say it's done. Um, but it won't get done unless I pick it up. But Pandemic is much more fun at the moment. But I know he'll love it. Or I love the thought that's gone into it if he doesn't love the picture of the train. I can't see why he wouldn't. We had a chat on the phone 20 minutes the other day, just me and him. We normally have a daily video chat. Me, my mum, my dad and my sister if she's not working. Mum and dad don't live together. Um, and the four of us have a chat. Um, but the other day it was just me and my dad and we chatted for about 20 minutes all about trains. We went on and on and on and on. And as the good daughter I am, I let him. So, there we are. Here is Spangled by Long Dog Samplers. Here's what it's going to look like. Here's where it was last time. And here it is as it is now. Sorry, this is so wrinkled. I have a tendency just to throw it. Oh, I know why. I was stitching it in the car um, as I was waiting for the girls at on the school run the other day. It's so nice to be able to sit in the car and stitch waiting to do the school run. I, you know, I'd obviously missed that. I just take a cup of tea, um, I pick them up once, maybe twice a week um, after school and I just sit and have a cup of tea. I used to buy it but obviously I take it with me because I've been making my own tea and coffee for the last, since January, no, since March, sorry. Um, and so I take it with me and I sit and I stitch. And I really like it. Mm -mm -mm, get the light right. Maybe I should have brought a light over. Hold it here. Oh gosh, you can see the crinkles a lot more if I hold it there, can't you? That's the that's, that's the colour. So that's page one, very nearly done. I just need to fill these in, and that's page one done. And again, <coughs> excuse me. Again, I love it. I think she's very clever making her patterns. Have you seen Long Dog Samples, the new norm samplers, the new normal? <gasps> I want to stitch that as well. Um, somebody on Instagram that it just came up on my suggested feed has done it with each piece of that in a different colour. Hasn't finished it, but they've started it and made good progress considering it only released at the start of the week. I think um, that's that's very tempting to do rather than doing it monochrome. Although I'm loving monochrome. Um, sorry. So this I am doing two over two on 32 count Murano I believe. That's a good colour likeness. Um, I love this pale green and pink just here. My nails need doing. I've been gardening. Um, it's just lovely isn't it? I don't know how big this is going to be. I don't even know if it's going to fit on this piece of black fabric. I measured it so I'm confident, but I think I'll work across before I go down, just in case. And I also think I'll cry if it doesn't fit, because I've got, I know where this is going to go when it's finished. I hope. I want it as you go down the stairs, on the wall straight in front of you as you go down the stairs. Um, and the chart, where I've done it blue, the chart calls for black. Everything else is the same colour, but I've done it blue. 
I can't remember what colour blue, what shade of blue. It's not 310 black. Um, I think it might be 161. Don't quote me on that. It shows up in my video last week. I've, I've said what the change is. Um, there we are. Those are my whips. Something, um, my issue of cross stitcher came, sorry about the glare, came in the post last week. This week, this week, oh, it's all blurred into one. And it came with two freebies on the front. And the first is a festive stitch along. No, the first is a Christmas card with a deer on it. And the second is the start of their Christmas stitch along. So, um, it says Noel at the top, that's month one. It's only a dinky little thing. I think it's going to be slightly bigger than this one, which was their one last year. Um, I posted this on Instagram and Kathleen, who is Situation Normal on FlossTube, you should watch her, she's hysterical. Um, has also stitched this and I said, you know, she commented and I said, oh, typically I found the stitch kit to do it just when I was finishing, fully finishing it off. Um, I know where the sti stitch kit is for this um, because it only arrived this week. I say that looking around the room, not being able to see it, but it must be somewhere because it only arrived this week. Um, so I'm going to start that and get that done because it's just going to be lovely and you can see it's giving you a sneak peek for next month's issue so I get a Christmas card with a robin and a post box but also the stitch along is going to have this tree and a star and who knows what the world is going to look like come Christmas um I think if um the government I was about to say have their way but they're doing what they can in an unprecedented, said that word again, there we go, time. We don't know what, how to treat this illness, do we? Um, and if it just be me and my, my husband Matthew at Christmas and, and the girls when I see them on the day after Christmas Boxing Day means that we don't put other people at risk, then I'm happy for that. Because having had a cold and thinking it was Covid because it started just as a cough before it progressed to the cold and having the pain and the shortness of breath I literally could only breathe a little bit um I've had a test it wasn't Covid I have had a test and I've spoken to the doctor and they didn't want me to get another test so it's fine um it's horrible the cold I had and Covid must be worse because people are being hospitalized by it so if by staying at home and not seeing people is what needs to happen then that's what I'll do because you know it's just for the sake of a few months more it's not nice it's not great but it's what we need to do isn't it um I'm going to make myself some new masks during the week so I've got this to start this to finish hello pumpkin to work on this spangled and pandemic to work on um, but I'm also going to make myself a few masks because in a few weeks I'm starting something new and I'll be going out the house a bit more and we've been using disposable face masks um, a fair bit but I think if I'm going to be going out regularly I will wear washable ones <coughs> there's the dog I think that's the cue to say um, Thank you for watching. I will try and resume more regular programming. I hope not to get ill again to stop that. I'm thinking I'll probably go back to doing every two weeks. I don't think I'd have enough to show you every week. Um, but if I do get a sudden stitch on, I might. Um, what am I hoping to, am I hoping to finish anything? I could say my challenge is to finish this in two weeks so I can show you it finished next time. Okay, here's the plan. This will be finished in two weeks so I can show you on the next video. How does that sound? Have a lovely week or two. 
stay safe stay indoors if you're in the uk try to minimize social contact wear a mask keep your hands clean um that's about it really um yeah take care and thank you for watching